Hello guys and welcome to Revit Keys. More and more workstation hardware options are available nowadays. It can be a hard work to go through reviews to find out exactly where you should invest your money. So like this laptop is a budget friendly 2 and one for students. This laptop is one of the leaders of the pack for both weight and battery life. This laptop balance fashion and function at a rock bottom price, etc. So today we will show you how to choose a PC workstation for Autodesk Revit use. When you decide to purchase a workstation, you have to take in consideration those four factors. Processor CPU, graphic card VGA, system memory RAM and the storage. So let's move to the first point, processor or CPU. The CPU is the central processing unit. Its role is to take instruction from a software and perform a calculation. So there are two main specs that define the power of a CPU, the frequency and the number of cores. So let's start with the frequency. The frequency affects how many operations a single core can do in a second. That means how fast it is. The number of cores affect the number of operations that you can do at the same time. So I will clarify this point with an example. If I have to build a wall in a very short period of time, what should I do? I put four workers or eight workers. Of course, I will select the eight workers to increase the work so the wall will finish quickly. Therefore, this is the same way that a core in a CPU works. So I recommend for a user with a small project like a small building or a small park to go for a Core i5 or i7 under 8th generation. And for a big project like a tower with interiors and details or an airport or stadium, you can go for an i7 8th generation and above or Core i9 or Xeon. So let's move now to the second factor, the graphic card or VGA. Graphic cards or VGA stands for Video Graphic Adapter are used to support high intense graphic application like Autodesk Revit. So if I go to my example, you can see the difference between low and high VGA in a 3D model. Many lines are disappearing in case of low video cards graphics. For that reason, I recommend for a small project to go for 2 to 4 GB and for a larger project to go for GTX 1060 and more. Let's move to the third factor, system memory or RAM. What is RAM? It is random access memory. It is where data is stored and accessed by the CPU. When you run a software or open a document or do much anything, RAM gets used to store the data while the computer is working on it. If we go back to the comedy movie in 1999, Office Space, the boss wants to change the desk of the co-worker many times and make it smaller and smaller so the engineer couldn't work anymore in those conditions. So memory are like your desk. It allows you to work on many projects and the larger your desk is, the more papers, folders and tasks you can have at one time. So I recommend for small project to go for 16 GB and for a larger project to go for 32 GB and more. So let's move to the fourth factor, the storage. What is the storage? It is the location which stores the operation system, the application and the data files. We have two types of storage. HDD, hard disk drive, it is slower and cheaper, and SSD, solid state drive, high speed and more expensive. 
So I recommend for a small project to get the 512 GB storage space and SSD storage speed. And for a larger project, you have to get the 2 TB storage space and SSD for storage speed. I hope that you have learned something. And tell me in the comment section below what computer setup do you use. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.